Question 5 is quite a tricky integration question. We need to find the area of this shaded section here. Now, if we had either one of these functions, we would just integrate between um, 0 and whatever this value is where it hits the x-axis. Um, it tells us for free that it hits the x-axis at a half. So we're going to be integrating between 0 and a half. If we were to just integrate this one, we would get a negative value because it's underneath the um, x-axis. So we need to be careful. We would get a negative number here. But because it wants the physical area, we're going to need to take the value of that negative and, and make it positive. We're going to want the modulus of this number. And we're then going to add it to the area here, which will be found by integrating this value. So I'm going to do the two integrations separately. So that's going to be the integration of 1 minus 2x to the power of 5. I'm going to work out that one first, which will get us the top area here. I'm going to work that out first. So to find that one, we need to add 1 to the power. So it's like the reverse chain rule. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, but also, I'm going to need to divide by the coefficient of x in this bracket. So that's a minus 2. So if we tidy that up, we've got minus 1 minus 2x to the power of 6 all over 12. And that's between a half and 0. So if I substitute my values in now, if we substitute a half in, we're going to get negative 1 minus a half of 2, so 1 minus 1. So that's going to be a 0 in the bracket there. So it doesn't matter if we're dividing, that's just 0. Minus what will we get what we get when we put 0 in. So when we put 0 in, we're going to get negative 1 minus 0, so that's just 1 to the power of 6 over 12. So all of that, that's nothing. Here we've got minus minus a 12. So we've got a 12. So we do the same thing now with the e to the 2x minus 1 minus 1. We're expecting a negative answer for this. So again, let's integrate this. Integrating in e to the 2x minus 1 is going to be e to the 2x minus 1, but divided by, again, the coefficient of this, which is 2, minus x. Again, between a half and 0. So we're going to put, um, put the half in, and we already know we're going to get, well, we're going to get 0 here. Half of 2, again, is 1, take away 1. So that's e to the 0, which is 1. So we get 1 over 2. Take away a half. Minus what we get when we put 0 in. When we put 0 in, we're going to have e to the minus 1 over 2. Take away 0. So that's going to become 0 minus e to the minus 1 over 2. e to the minus 1 over 2, you could write it like that. Or you could write it as minus 1 over 2e. So we have got something negative like we expected. So that tells me the actual area of this section is 1 over 2e. And therefore, the total area is the 1 over 2e plus the 12 from before.